to my channel. If you don't already know me, I am Katie and I'm a mum of three. And on my channel, I share videos about finding you, finding your style and getting organised while you're at it. Today I'm going to be talking about gratitude and gratitude journaling, something that I've been banging on about for months and months now. And um, if you are in my decluttering motherhood group, you'll have heard me say about it. And if you're not, I'll put a link down below so you can join. And if you follow my Facebook or Instagram lives, I've mentioned it quite a bit on there as well. And the reason is, is because I truly, truly believe it can change your life. Now that might sound completely dramatic, but when you have been in a negative place your whole life, really, I've always been a very negative person. The fact that something so simple has now brought me into a very positive place that to me is life changing. And I'm gonna just talk you through exactly what I do so that you can start the process yourself. So the first thing you need is a notebook. That's all you need. Or if you don't even want to be bothered with having a notebook, use your phone. You can use your notes on your phone and it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. You can write it in a notebook, a scrap of paper, on your phone, it doesn't matter. The process of writing it down is what matters. So every day I write down three things that I am grateful for and it will vary day to day. Now, yes, you can say I'm grateful for my house, I'm grateful for my husband, I'm grateful for my children. They're very obvious things and of course be grateful for them but if you just repeat those same things every single day, it's not really showing gratitude for your entire life. So my challenge for you when you start is to try and really be specific. I am grateful for the first cup of coffee in the morning. I am grateful that I had a great night's sleep last night. I am grateful that my nail varnish didn't chip on the first day. You know, really think about the teeny tiny things that make up your day and focus on those because usually they're the things we take for granted and don't realize how lucky we are. I'll leave some prompts down below as well just to get you started because sometimes it can be really overwhelming to think, oh my God, what am I grateful for today? Now, before I carry on, you might be thinking, why, why do I want to be doing this? And it's a great question because it might just seem like mumbo jumbo. Why am I writing this down? Well, studies show that people who practice daily gratitude are happier than the people who don't. The reason being is it forces us to pay attention to those little things that we would otherwise take for granted. And then the key in writing it down is it tells our brain that it's not just some crazy thought that we're grateful. Writing it down turns it into concrete language that tells our brain, this is fact. I really am grateful for this thing. This makes me happy. The more you start to do it, the more that you become self-aware, you see more positive things around you and the happier you become. It also reduces stress. The more grateful you are for what you have, makes you realize when you reach a hurdle that otherwise would stress you out, you think, no, do you know what? I've beaten this before because look how great my life is right now. And it helps you, your brain, to know that my life's great right now because I've achieved so, you know, whatever it is I've achieved so far in my life. So I can beat this, I can beat this because I've done it before. So after I have written my three things down, I then move on to my goals, which it's, it's linked to gratitude because it encourages a positive way of living your life. So once you have written down your three things that you are grateful for, you then move on to 10 things that are your goals for your future self. Now, again, this might sound like mumbo jumbo, but I have been doing this for months now and since I've been doing it, and after I've written it down, it helps me to live life as the person that I want to become. So I write down the goals, as if they've already happened. And again, writing it down turns it into concrete language that your brain goes, oh, okay, that's a real thing. I'm aiming for that thing. That's a real thing. It's not just some fa fancy schmancy thought in my head. It's written down, it's real, it's achievable. I'm going for that. Now the way to think of your 10 goals is to think of yourself in 10 years time. Where do you want to be? Where do you see yourself? What do you look like? How, where do you live? 
what sort of life are you living do you have your dream job what is it what is the best possible scenario for your life in 10 years time where do you see yourself being so for me i see myself living in my dream home i see myself running conferences for women to come to to find themselves again i see myself employing my husband as part of the team i see myself as an exceptional wife i see myself as an exceptional mother i see myself as fit and healthy and i that those things that's how i see myself i want to be that person so writing them down every single day as if they've already happened i am an exceptional mother i am fit and healthy that again tells my brain oh okay then i'm gonna live my life because i'm already those things and i have found over the months that i have been doing this i am striving towards those goals because i've given myself those goals as concrete real things to aim for you don't have to strive for running your own multi-million dollar business i'm not saying that it might just be i one of mine is i am the most positive person i know i want to be the most pos positive person that i know you know yours could be i want to be free of debt it could just be something simple as i read daily think about how you live your life in 10 years time what does that look like and then every day you write down those goals the final thing that i do is i write down one of the goals and that is the one that i'm going to be focusing on at the present time so my one right now is that i am building a community that is one of my top 10 goals and it's the one that i'm focusing on right now that is why i am pushing myself doing my facebook and instagram lives three times a week if you don't already watch them come over mondays wednesdays and fridays at 10 a.m gmt or we're bst right now um and I'm just trying to nurture this community to become something bigger and better so that all women, all mothers, all women can be a part of the community. That is my goal that I am working on right now. It doesn't mean that I don't live intentionally for the other goals. So one of my goals is to be fit and healthy. I try my best every single day. I write it in the morning and it helps me throughout the day to think no. I am a fit and healthy person. I'm going to walk to school. Okay, that's living intentionally for that. I am going to make good choices. I don't always make good choices. I do like chocolate. But on the whole, I make good choices with the foods that I eat. If I write down, I am an exceptional wife. I'm not saying I'm always an exceptional wife, but reminding myself daily every single morning that that's who I want to become helps me try that little bit more to be that person already daily. And that's it. That is the process. And it's all done in a notebook. So grab yourself a notebook and every single morning without fail, don't skip on it. Every single morning, write down your three things you're grateful for, your 10 goals and they don't change. They are the same every single day. The gratitude changes. And then finally, what is the one thing that you're going to really focus on and actively pursue? And I promise you, if you do this daily, every single day, first thing in the morning, it will change your life. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you again next week with another upload. Bye.